Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 3 of We Happy Few. Uh, I know we left off at a different spot last time, but when you quit the game, you automatically start again in your recent, most recent safe house, so that's where I started right now. I know, I think I, we left off in the middle of the field somewhere, but now we're back here, in our safe house. And, um, yeah, so while I edited the last two episodes, um, I remembered something because we had the resources now to build, what was it? Uh, I don't know the name. Yeah, this one, the Jimmy Bar. And when we picked up the telephone, there was a coin collecting box. That we could open up with a jimmy bar so i'm just gonna go back there for a while for a little bit and try to break that open so first coin box or do we press e search coin box which requires a jimmy bar well let's go with eden i do have one though or does it okay so with v we hold that's strange a little bit, but okay. Ah, now we can search it. And we have three... No, not three. We have seven sovereigns now. So maybe sovereign... Oh, now I get it. There was one... There was one document that we found where it was... I don't know, 6S or something. And I was wondering what S stands for. Maybe it's sovereign. Maybe this is the currency in this game. So here we are again. Again. Um, I wonder if this is how Percy felt, not fitting in anywhere. So here we are again. I just need to remember what I wanted to do. Yeah, I wanted to go back there to this place where we went last time and I was scared of fighting. So, okay, I just need to remember the controls a bit. I think C was crouch. Yes, C was crouching. Okay. Okay, so let's take a little closer look. Oh, there's rules of the garden district. Don't steal, we have little enough as it is. You're welcome to visit, the, but do be sociable and have a chat. There's a nice fellow. Sleep in your own bed, remember Goldilocks. You can eat any fruit you find except the fruit of the apple tree. The bobbies will kill you. I thought the Garden District was a wilderness of lawless lunatics. Apparently it's just got its own rules. I'd better figure out what the other ones are. Yeah, maybe we want to fit in here. Apparently he didn't want to. Or she. Oh, it's a she. Yeah, I saw her before. Have we been in here? I think we were. Or not. Is this something that... Yes. So if we have to force it, we'll have to use this jimmy bar again, I guess. Yes. Is there something interesting in there? A master tinker and a loose screw. Is this a blueprint? Oh, okay. I might need to look a little bit closer at all these crafting menus, so what, what's possible or not. Is there something? No, there's nothing under there. I don't want to stand up. Last time we've been here there were some... Okay, how do I... Yes. Let's just do this. It occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? Okay, maybe I want to put up away the bat again. Because maybe we can try the friendly approach. Maybe they won't kill us on sight. Maybe we shouldn't crouch either. Who knows? 
and maybe I will terribly regret this later. What's, what's this? Arthur Wellesley, first Duke of Wellington Wells. Oh nice, he's got a pretty fashionable hat. I see you. Okay, um, hey there. There's another kite. Okay. Uh, hello? Anyone out there? Uh oh. Are you a tourist? You dress like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here! Over here! Do you want to get thrashed? Come in! Come in! Okay. Good John Newey, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous! Your funeral? Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy. And it like flips a switch, and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit and invite me over for tea and biscuits? Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! Thank you. Beryl Markham. Um, so apparently how we dress will impact our surrounding. They hate us because we're better dressed than them. Um, let's just search it. Oh, there's scotch. Let's take it. But maybe we need to, we want to craft a torn suit now first. How best do, okay, maybe this one. Okay, let's take a look. No, those are the letters. Oops. Okay, I need to craft a torn suit, but I don't know how. Oh, here. Got it. So, we need a rock and the proper suit that we now have. Oh. Well, we are one of them now, so better dress like him too. Fit in with those awful wastrels. Upsets decent folk, obviously. For to conform in the garden district. We definitely want to conform here, so... This is us now. I don't think my suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. Well, we sort of are a wastrel now. I mean... Hmm. Okay, so now they should leave us alone, hopefully. So, I was actually, while we go rummaging around here, I was actually um, thinking a bit while editing the last video and I got a chance to think it through again. I was scared that I could do anything wrong up with the, with the um, accepting or denying the, the articles that we saw, but basically it's not like... There's not really the right thing or the wrong thing to do. I mean, there's the wrong thing to do for um, the government that wants you to forget. But, I mean, Arthur wants to remember too, so... I don't know. If you want to make everyone else remember, then you obviously should publish the, the, the bad news or those those news that make you remember what you've done too but Arthur seems like he doesn't seems like that he doesn't mind too much that people are too scared that everyone else doesn't 
want to remember, that they're too scared, but he just wants to remember and he just wants to be able to remember without being chased off and I think that's just what he wants. He doesn't want to reform the whole city, he just he just wants to remember for himself and he doesn't necessarily need to make everyone else remember, just like he said with those tubes. If one of those canisters wants to break out, he would ruin it for every other canister and those one canister who wants to break out is meant to be him, but... So he doesn't want everyone to remember, apparently, so... Because we've seen what it does to people. I mean, they were turning crazy and... I mean, yeah, apparently not all of them are crazy, but I understand that maybe they are not responding too well to people who are dressed like they were in the past. I mean, yeah, you don't know where they came from. They could have been from anywhere in the city. So what's this? Clubber. You have picked up a book. Back in 1964, people read books to learn how to do things better. You should read all the books you can find in Wellington Wells. Okay, how do I read a book? Normally I know, but... So these are notes. Those are my notes. Um... Did we have that before? Oh, <laughs> okay, no, those are game statistics. Those are not notes. I can't seem to find it. No, I can't seem to find it anywhere, so maybe we'll find out later. A guide to fitting in. First aid kit, let's pick that up. Scotch, let's take it. I think I'm... Oh, I seem to already be carrying enough rocks. Oh, a workbench. But... How do I benefit from using a workbench when I just can craft it in my inventory? Like, I mean, there's not really anything else I could have crafted. Maybe this will be important later. So, what's happening here? Sewing kit. A safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. If I crack a safe now, will she be mad? Does she live here? Hmm. Let's do it. Okay, she didn't. She didn't notice. Oh, this is another memory. Let's take some scotch with us first. I lied for you today at four fifteen. Shh. That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good lie today. Shh. Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red, and and her voice was like mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in a tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15 p.m. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble, because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again, so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you, Arthur. I love you too. Aww. Hmm, so I guess... So I guess this was a memory from even before. The first memory. Apparently Arthur was peeking into the neighbor daughter's bathroom... Bathroom? Bedroom, probably, and... Percy took the blame for him because 
apparently people thought he people think that he's slow it also said in the article that he doesn't seem to speak a lot to strangers that's why bedtime? arthur told everyone this art about this how percy found all the stuff apparently percy took the blame because he knew that, every, that everyone would bed. that the neighbor would forgive him because everyone thinks that he's not quite right in the head so yeah okay barrel can we talk have you been sleeping all right i try not to talk about them you know but sometimes i just can't help it okay so Ain't it past your bedtime he's not really Hello? sometimes i hear horsemen at night it's the four isn't it Okay, so we that's not really a conversation. So let's see if they still want to kill us. Hello. NPCs have status indicators over their heads. The white outline fill represents awareness. As it goes up, NPCs become more aware of you. The red outline fill represents suspicion. Suspicious or annoying behaviors will fill it. Once completely filled, NPCs become hostile. It's combat time and you can't conform anymore. NPC health is displayed as the filled triangle inside the indicator. Be aware that some actions cause instant aggression, like trespassing or stealing. Okay, so let's see how they react to us now. Will they attack us? Or Ugh, I'm always pressing escape. I shouldn't. So let's see how they react. How they react to us now? Oh, they don't care. That's nice. Hope this doesn't make people angry. So. nothing here what if we talk at least to we have our memories right it's strange there's things here you could never find in Hamlin village I don't know if this is a good start to a conversation by walking up to the people who are shocked by what they did before and they couldn't remember and Telling them at least they have their memories. Maybe they're not too happy about that. So apparently there's not so much Been to a while, talk isn't about. It? Don't swim in the river. The fumes will kill you. That's good to know. Thank you, kind sir. Hey there, lady Eunice. Well, nothing lasts forever, does it? If you get a cut out here, you'd better bandage it up. You can get an infection just from a scratch. That's also very nice of you to tell me because I'm acting really strange around here. I mean, how can I be so cheery? These people are pretty sad. Head boys rule steal. Oh, okay, so I guess this is the other fraction, the head boys. We saw that before. People somehow never notice Arthur when he's sitting down, unless they're already enraged at him. This doesn't work at night, though. Ah, now we're on the other side of the phone box. Okay, so this wasn't as bad as I thought. I was thinking that maybe now this was the time to fight. But I want to go in here and see what this kite is supposed to mean. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm leaving. Sorry. Didn't we go to school together? Miss Bing's class. Getting enough sleep. It's important to sleep. How many Bings are in this town? I mean, is Victoria Bing just a genius, like, teacher and then director of this whole thing? But. Or there's so many bings here. Shall I? Can I take this too? Weapons will break after repeated use. It also upsets people when you carry them around openly. Okay, so I don't do that now. Is there something here? Nope. I would like to know what's in there. Though. This would 
support my kite theory again, but there are so many people here. I'm... Do you... Shall I go now or shall I not? I don't want to upset those people. I mean, they're... They... They, have, they did nothing. They're just sad. And... Will he see me if I go in here now? I would just go across this room. Although, no. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do it now. Maybe this is all just stupid and I'm just imagining more things into this kite drawings. But I mean, this is kind of... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mr. Kite's instructions! Oh, okay. I do not regret coming in here. Let's see. For friends of Mr. Kite, welcome, dear. I know the house doesn't look like much, but it's safe from doctors and bobbies. No decent person from the village comes here. The wastrel population has swelled. Try to look and behave like they do. They resent that you could take joy if you wanted to while they cannot tolerate it. If they see you in fine clothes or smell that you've had comfort and good food recently, they will become quite agitated. Best to blend in. If they think you're an unfortunate like themselves, they'll leave you quite alone. Unfortunately, hooligan gangs have also realized the garden district is out of the eye of the law. The head boys have a lair on the island. Do take care. I've prepared a cozy attic warren for my favorite rabbit, but she might have to jump around a bit to get into it. My favorite rabbit. Wasn't this... Phone message also, the rabbit is in the garden. Getting away from it all, 1964 edition, by Mr. William Kite. Some sort of travel guide. No one travels. Which means this is something else. That seems to be a guide to surviving the garden district. How useful. But who is Mr. Kite? People get angry when they steal from their houses. Yeah, but... Why am I still trespassing? There is a book that says... Welcome. I'm gonna go up there. Maybe there is something from Prudence here too. Maybe Prudence was here. Oh no, there's nothing sleeping there. Whoopsies. Okay, it's 12 a.m. It's night. Everyone's asleep. Um, the question is, how do I get out? No, I don't. Oh no, it's blocked. Okay, um. How do I get there? I don't know. But. I think I want to get out for now. I would like to know how to get there, but maybe. It's not meant to be. I don't want to steal from these people either. Okay, nothing happened. Just passing through. I did not break into another house. Ooh. Okay. So we did this. And... Yeah. Okay, um... I don't know if I want to fight those hooligans now. I don't feel like I'm prepared. I would rather follow the objective because I think that we can return anywhere anytime we want. So um, I think I'm going to leave those head boys be for now and head onward to Rourke's Drift Bridge. Oh, there's someone standing there. Oh no, now we don't look that good anymore. Anxious to get back home to village. Well, uh Well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Know where I could mug a bobby? <laughs> You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die, then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there. 
with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. You get them back from me. I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? My medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No, and you'll need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have stole most of those too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. So, so much for my plan to not go there. Now I have to. Okay, but apparently they won't be that strong that I couldn't defeat them with my cricket bat. Heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress. Uh huh. It really looks like that. Do I have to go in the main door or can I. Is there some way around the back? There's a path, so maybe. Is there something? No. Okay, those are just lanterns. I could pass those. Nope, it doesn't seem like. Oh! What this? Achtung, Eintritt verboten. Danger, entry forbidden. So maybe this is our secret entrance. Um, no, there's nothing here. Whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to try and sneak my way in. Maybe it's possible, maybe it's not. Um, okay. Let's just hold. Just pick this lock. And get in. I really don't want to, but I guess I have to. Yeah, I figured that I would be trespassing here now. Sally would have loved this if I could never get in here. Sally? That's the neighbor's girl he was peeking on, right? Oh, so he liked her and he knew her. Flower, some weird drawings. Um, I want to take a look into this. I mean, those are the bad guys. We can rob the bad guys. There wasn't so much in it, but okay. Book. Ooh. What was that? I guess I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. Okay, taking elevators is definitely a bit... Hmm, so that one is jammed, so we have to take the elevator. I mean, that's a bit suspicious. I mean, if someone else is waiting up there to go up. It's like... Surprise! Stranger from the cellar. Oh, great. Now we're stuck. Uh, lovely day, friend. <laughs> a lovely day. Addicted, Dad. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight in hmm. the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I can write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad first. Put your things in that box. But we'll leave you there to starve. It's like I knew it. I didn't, but... <laughs> Gird thy loins for the moment of truth. For it is upon you. I guess you don't want the second part, would you? Oh. Gentlemen, will you please welcome Wobbly, Arthur, King of the Parade! 
Oh, how oh, nice. Now we're in a fight club. Piece line by line. Who gives a shit, Hastings? A newspaper's supposed to make you feel good. Nobody remembers what they read. I don't want to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now let's change your weapons. One is quite lethal. The other will just give the other chap some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? Oh wow. So now, do we have to decide if we want to kill him or not? I don't want to kill him. He seems to hate us though and he seems to have copied something we wrote before but... I guess he will take the lethal one because he wants to live but... Maybe we can beat him to death with that pad of branch. I think that if we've got a, ch a choice now between brutal and not brutal, I think we should take the not brutal one, but I guess maybe this will get us killed, so... Uh. No, I I'll just go with it. I should be... I'm the better person if you take the... If you take the stick, I'm... I'll still feel good though and because Danny's picked the lethal one. That's cheery. Yep. Hey, short guy. So. I got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's gotta come on strong with that lead pipe. You gotta wanna block that. That's a good. Okay, I'm really sorry. I don't talk a lot during fighting, but I'm really concentrated. So is he unconscious or is he... Oh yeah, I knocked him unconscious. That's good. The what? Oh no, come on. My bed is broken now. Oh. Uh oh, 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 oh. I should concentrate on one. Up her. Oh no. There's no time.
Oh, okay. Th I had the option to throw Danny on someone that I was on one of those ladies. Okay. I knocked them all unconscious. I didn't kill anyone. Good one. Bye. I think I'm gonna have my stuff back now. Ooh, okay. Then I need something to eat, probably. Let's all wish him well on his journey. Oh no. So where's my stuff oh, now? God. This oh god, this Oh god. Ugh. Oh great. I'm in the winner's club. This aren't looking that good. Mimi Drisdale, Leslie Bunyan, William Coke, Gwenda Pemberton, Fitz Lloyd Shackleton. Is there do I really want to eat a rotten potato? Who am I stealing from? Oh yeah, the head boy, so definitely steal that. How do I get away from this? Do I really want to eat that rotten potato or not? I'll just take it. Maybe I'll need it. Let's get out of here. Whoa, it's a first aid kit. There's some sort of vent. I wonder if I can pry it loose. I'd need a jimmy bar. I already have that. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motiline dispenser. That chap at the bridge said I'd need a power cell and his war medals. Hello there. Can I? Completing quests throughout Wellington Wells will give you skill points. To use your skill points, open the skill tree by pressing tap. Oh, okay, so now I can buy skills. When you have earned enough points, you can purchase skills to improve your abilities. Purchase the, purchase the Sweet Dreams skill. Sweet Dreams. Quietly choke people unconscious from behind. Smother them unconscious in their beds. That sounds good. I'll buy it. <laughs> buy the skill? Yes, I would like to. Okay. So now I'm I figure out how to get rid of him real quiet like. Able to do that. I definitely don't want a crowd. Take down. <laughs> okay. Sleep tight. Can I put him into the bin? I just want to search him though. A Jimmy bar, that could be useful too. So, can I throw him in there? Hide body? Yes. Oh well, that's pretty good hidden. Mm-hmm. It looks so natural. He's like he looks like he's sleeping in there. Medicine cabinet. Yes, I'll take it all. Okay, sleep tight. Ugh, I will not search out those toilets. Good. Okay, so what is the right approach here? Just, oh yeah, sneak your way to the next room. Press C to sneak while sneaking you will uh, it's really lowered and you make less noise. So you can also see the footsteps of nearby enemies even through walls. Try sneaking past the hooligan in this room. Good. Ah, there he is. So I'm just assuming that he will probably go in a circle. Yes. Quick slots fill automatically from your inventory and are displayed in the lower right corner. To select the active quick slot, press 1 for healing items, 2 for food, 3 for tools and throwables, 4 for drugs. Press that button again to scroll through the items queued in each quick slot. Hold F to use or equip item. Okay. It's easier to move among your enemies if they are looking somewhere else. To cause a distraction, select your gadget quick slot with 3 and tap 3 again until you cycle to a bottle. Raise the bottle with F. Your target is marked with a rotating reticule. And press and hold left mouse button to aim and release to throw it someplace you want them to go investigate. Ok. 
Okay, so we wanna equip a butler. So who are, where are they? Hmm. Oh no. He didn't close that door. I did. Didn't I? Oh no. He's coming. Whew. I thought I closed that. So. I mean, this guy is kind of. This guy is just sitting there, maybe. Where do I need to go anyway? I mean, up there looks promising. But there's a door over there as well. Hmm. I mean, this guy is just walking in a circle. Oh no. It's me. Oh no, I made a mistake. Really? He doesn't care about that anymore? I mean, there's his body lying over there. Okay, he's going into the other direction now, is he? Yes. Okay, let's go. You don't know what you're gonna do. So, here. Light on a bit. Okay. So, he won't come back here. Um, where is the, where is the other guy? Oh, whoops. Okay, so he's passed. Where are we now? <gasps> okay, does this kill me? I don't know, I'm just trespassing. There we go. I can find a power cell right there. Oh. Didn't even see Motiline. that. Pure resublimated thymotoline. The fuel of the future now. I'm pretty sure he saw me, but didn't choose, choose to do anything. So. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this over there so he leaves me alone for a bit. Maybe he won't see. Okay, I'm in. Um, oh, there's no one here. That's good. Don't find me, Yeah, I know I'm trespassing. I just 
really don't mind. Ooh, it's a toolbox. Yes. Take it all. I also take this. I also take this, and now I am taking those war medals. Too. I guess I can go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals, and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. Oh, I can't search the locker. Ah, oh, well. Okay, um. So. Ah, I need to go this way. I'll just throw another bottle over there. Yes. Go there. Take a look. Another one. Yes. Okay. Well, this is going to be a little bit longer episode, but I think we're almost through. Yeah, it's our stash. Who? Okay. Well, I think that's everything I had when they jumped me. That's good. That's really good. Okay, so I think we're out. Yes. That's good. Oof. I should continue sneaking, though. Mm -hmm. If I crouch, I bet I can disappear into those bushes. Enemies won't spot you if you're sneaking in one of the bushes with yellow flowers unless they bump into you. Okay, so those are yellow flowers. I can be here. Okay, so over there. Let's see for how long he stays here. Oh, okay, so. Mm -hmm. There are no flowers there, but maybe he won't see me. So. Oh no. Oh no. Bad idea, bad idea. Is he coming here or not? Ah, he's turning back. Good, good. Okay, so I'm hidden now here. Where is he? He's back there. As far as I can remember, he stood there for a long time. So maybe this is my chance. Oh no, please don't tell me. Oh no, I... I do have luck. I should have luck. Luck picks, right? So, where is he? Where is our buddy? Okay, he's there. I should. Th I could throw a bottle. What the fuck was Here, that? guys. Okay. No. Oh no. That's not good. What the hell? Good, we won't get out this way. So we need the key. But we don't have the key. Hmm. Okay, everyone. So this episode has been going really long now. It's almost an hour. Uh, I think I need to do a cut now. So we'll leave with a cliffhanger if you want to see if we make it out you have to watch the next episode too so anyway thank you for watching and see you next time where we hopefully will get out of this place but we have to figure out how first so see you then and bye